exciting day. And actually, guys, I really did write down my notes so I would also not ramble. Um, so if anybody see a silver clutch bag, it's mine because I can't find my notes. Um, yes! Thank you! Yes! Actually, the Lord had me, to, <laughs> I was just saying, y'all don't want me to ramble, but the Lord had, um, woke me up at uh, 6 this morning, so I wouldn't know exactly what to say, and it would be a blessing, and not a story. Amen. Okay. Oh, I got my phone. I got a signal, guys. We're up in mountains, but anyway. Um, I want to kind of use a testimony or be a testament to Beyonce and Jessica's love, which I am so proud of. Um, this is not a plug for my husband's book. However, my husband is re uh, writing a marriage book in the name of the bless. Um, the book is the four powerments of the blessing. And one of them is what God wants for us all, and that's to have a blissful marriage. Um, we always, and I, today I think someone mentioned um, 1 Corinthians 13, and that's the love chapter, and we always talk about love. At the end of that verse, it talks about three things will remain. That's hope, faith, and love. Guys, did you know love is the only thing that we can take to us in eternity? I know y'all got houses and boats and, and um, Lexuses, but you can't take that with you, but you can take love. And so when I think about Binyam and I think about Jessica, I believe that they've been the epitome of that scripture because it talks about love being enduring, not holding wrong, um, being patient. And they have been in this relationship for eight years. I think we should give them a hand clap. Go ahead. <laughs> loved each other. They have had to be patient with one another. And so I feel like uh. you, <laughs> I feel like when you look at the scripture and look at what God intended when he talked about agape love, because we all know what Eros love is. You know, that's the feely, lovey, I'll, I love you now, but you make me mad, I'm not with you tomorrow kind of love. And I know that it had to take more than that for them to endure, because some marriages don't last eight years. And definitely they've had a long distance relationship. And so I look at that scripture and I said, Lord, they've already lived what you wanted them to have a blissful relationship. And now that you have a covenant with the Father, God, I know that that's what's going to take you all the way. So I wanted to say, you know, come hell or high water and it will come against your marriage. Please continue to show each other the godly love of the Lord. Allow the Lord's love to transition anything that you may go through. Um, brother that's feeling impatient, Jesse don't want me to chew my gum in the car. I'm trying to teach her patience. Or rather it's just, you know what, this doesn't feel good anymore. Let the love that you've already shown each other, I know you will continue to guide you. I'm so proud of the love you have for one another. I'm so proud of the covenant that you made before God today. And I just want to speak more blessings upon you today. Amen. I know that our words are powerful. And so what we say matters. So I prophesy over you the blessing of God today. Yeah, Benny and Jessica. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming today. I know some of you came from other states. Some of you even came from other countries. So give yourselves a hand for coming out. All the way up here in the mountains to be a part of this. Uh, as parents, I'm very proud of the, uh, the turnout today to show your love for this couple here. So thank you so much. Benny and Jessica, your mom and I kind of are quite a privilege to toast you here now as newlyweds. And there are really two things I want to talk about uh, today, and I will be brief with it. First of all, uh, Benny, I am turning my youngest daughter, my princess, over to you today, okay? I have loved and I have raised Jessica from the time she was conceived. Jessica has never 
known anything but love from a father. And today I'm releasing her into your hands. And I know what your mom said, but if you treat her wrong, you gotta deal with that, okay? I just want you to know that. I want to set this record straight on that. But thank you so much for the love that you've already shown uh, for Jessica. Uh, secondly, I have the privilege of pronouncing blessings over the two of you now. Uh, so let me begin with a few of them. May the Lord bless you in the city. And may the Lord bless your marriage out in the field. May the Lord bless your professions and your businesses. May you be above only and never be beneath. And may your days of lack be totally over. May the Lord bless all the work of your hands. May you experience every grace and favor. And may you receive mercy every time you need it. May the Lord bless you with long life and good health. May the Lord bless the fruit of your womb. I am praying that a long lineage of godliness would come through you until Jesus comes. May you experience more than just happiness because we know that's fleeting. May you experience the true joy of the Lord every day. Benny, may you love Jessica with an everlasting love, in fact, a sacrificial love as displayed by Christ, giving himself up for the church. And Jessica, I know you love Benny. I know it. You've expressed it to me, and that's why we're glad to give you away uh, today. But may you also respect him unconditionally and do him good all the days of his life. I pronounce that starting today that you are no longer two, but that you are one. Join his husband and wife, inseparable, as illustrated by that Hebrew word, Garbach, in Genesis chapter 2. So everyone, would you join me now uh, by lifting up your glasses as we toast the bride and groom. I call all these blessings upon you now to overtake you. May they profusely abound in your life, and may you experience them starting now and continuing on for the rest of your life. Would you join me now in toasting the newlyweds? Would you raise your glasses? We bless you now, Benny and Jessica. Salute.